Namaste, everybody, and welcome to today's program, 10 Minutes with Dr. Mark Halpern. And I'm honored that you're going to spend your next 10 minutes with me. Today, what I'd like to talk about is the practice of Jal Neti, or Neti. You've probably heard of a Neti pot. This is a Neti pot right here. And this is an instrument for cleansing the nasal passages. Now, the word Neti just means to irrigate or to move through. Really, the proper name for this is Jal Neti. Jal Neti means to move water through the nasal passages. And this is an important practice in Ayurveda. And the reason it's an important practice in Ayurveda is because it cleanses the nasal passages and it also helps with the absorption of prana. So we need to talk about that for just a few minutes. So your nasal passages are very important to keep healthy. They play a vital role in your immune system and also in the energetic system of your body. In your immune system, we take in all kinds of uh, allergens and pathogens through our nose, and a healthy nostril is able to filter out those pathogens. But even still, some of those pathogens and some of the smoke that's in the air can get stuck inside the nasal passages. And when it does, we need to cleanse the nasal passages. And it's important because if the nasal passages are not cleansed regularly and cared for, then we are unable to absorb the prana from the air. Now, the word prana has many meanings. And so in this context, prana means the life force energy that vitalizes the body. Much of that prana, that life force energy, enters with your breath. And so with each breath you take, prana or life force energy is entering in and has to be absorbed into the energy system of your body. If it's absorbed properly, you'll have plenty of energy, plenty of vitality. But if it's not absorbed properly, you'll feel tired more easily. You'll feel not so clear mentally. This practice, when you do it regularly, you'll not only feel more energized, your mind will feel much clearer. You'll notice the difference even, even the first time you do it. Right after you practice netting, the mind will feel clear, you'll feel stimulated. So let's talk a little bit about how we practice neti. So as I mentioned, this is a neti pot. And the neti pot's going to be filled with warm water. That water should be a temperature about body temperature, maybe just slightly warmer. So we'll say somewhere between 99 and 100 degrees. Now, we don't want to just use plain water. We want to use water that has some salt added to it. When we add salt to the water, it creates a mixture that is more pleasing to the nasal passages. And we're going to irrigate our nasal passages with that salt water. Now, this neti pot is a typical size, but they're all a little bit different. And it's important to get the water and salt ratio right for your body. Now, the proper ratio is difficult to say because every pot is a little bit different. So for most size neti pots, the right amount of salt will be somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of a teaspoon. And so you'll add that to the pot after you put your warm water into the pot. Stir it around, make sure it's well uh, dissolved in the water. If you put too much in or it's not dissolved, then it can create burning. Now, some people get a little nervous when they're doing neti because it could cause a little bit of of irritation, a little bit of burning if the temperature is not correct of the water or if the salt content is not correct of the water. And for other people, it also brings up bad memories of getting chlorine water up their nose when they were swimming in a pool. And that was no fun. This is a much easier, more, more pleasant experience than getting cold chlorinated water in your nose when you're swimming. So I don't want you to worry about that. It just takes relaxing and pouring the water into one nostril, and then the water's going to come out of the other nostril. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you in just a moment. But first, a few more words about prana itself. So I mentioned that prana is the life energy of your body. It invigorates your body. And in Ayurveda, all the functions of the vata dosha are dependent upon healthy prana. So in other words, 
the help of your nasal passages, your breathing, your absorption of prana through the nasal passages and the sinuses can affect everything from your nervous system to the rate of your heart and the regularity of your heart. So having a healthy system for absorbing prana is very important. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the practice itself. I'm going to pause for just a moment and I'm going to fill up this neti pot with some warm water. I'm going to get it to the right temperature and then I'm going to return here. I'm going to add some salt to it and then I'm going to demonstrate the practice for you. Here I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Now the finer the salt is ground, the better it's going to dissolve into the water within your neti pot. And this is important because if it's not fine and it's not fully dissolved, it may create some burning in your nostrils or in your sinuses, and we certainly don't want that. So make sure that it's very finely ground and make sure that it's stirred into the water real well. So now I have filled up the neti pot with warm water. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And you can see I'm not scientifically measuring it out, but you certainly could do that. And you can remember each time when you do it how much you put in. Maybe you'll get an eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon measure, and you'll see how that works for you. You may need to play a little bit with the concentration to make it a little bit more or a little bit less in order to make it as comfortable as possible for you. But I want you to know that even if it causes a little bit of stinging or a little bit of burning, you're not harming yourself. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to go away in just a couple of seconds. So I'm estimating right here an amount and I'm just going to pour it into the neti pot and I'm going to stir it around. I want to make sure that it's completely dissolved. Now I also have here a couple of tissues because after you do the neti, you probably or you may want to blow your nose. Now when you do the neti, I'm going to pour the water into one nostril and it's going to come out the other nostril. Now there's a few tricks you're going to need to know to make that happen. The first is your mouth has to be open. That's very important in order to create the proper pressure gradient. Now the second thing you need to know is that you'll need to tip your head forward and turn it to the side. All right, those are the only things you need to know to be successful. All right, so we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to tip my head forward and to the side. I'm going to take the neti pot, put it in my nose, and I'm going to begin to pour. Now that was very comfortable. It's a good temperature and a good amount of salt. I did one nostril and I want to make sure to do the other nostril as well. Otherwise I'll feel a little off balance. So I'm going to do both sides. So now you've watched me pour the water in one side and it comes out the other nostril. Then I did the opposite side. Now, after you do uh, neti, it's a good idea when you're home to take a little bit of oil, a little bit of sesame oil or almond oil. It doesn't really matter which oil. I'm only talking about a little bit. You put a little bit on your fingertip, and then I want you to put it inside your nostril, and I want you just to move it around a little bit so that you oil the area that's just been cleaned. You just kind of massage it in a little bit, and then you're all done. What you've done is you've cleansed the cilia, the little hairs that are in your nostril. You've cleansed the mucous membrane in your nostril. And all of that is not only going to help you resist uh, allergens and pathogens, but it's also going to help you to absorb prana. And you'll feel better in your body and in your mind. You'll feel more energetic and you'll feel more clear. Try doing this every day, at least once a day. You could do it when you brush your teeth. It only takes a couple of moments, as you just saw. It's a great practice for your health. Now, if you're having allergies, you can do it more often. And if you happen to be in a smoky area, like it's been here in California with all the recent fires we've had, you may also want to do it more often. 
And even if you don't do it regularly, certainly do it during your allergy season or do it when there's smoke in the air because otherwise everything gets clogged up inside your nasal passages and, and you'll feel differently. Emotionally, you might even start feeling a little bit more depressed. So it's important to do this regularly. It'll uplift your spirit, it'll uplift your energy, and you'll be healthier. Many blessings to you as you continue your journey to optimum health and peace of mind. Namaste.